A very close eye on Hurricane Milton this afternoon. Those winds right now sustained at 155 miles per hour. We've been studying the radar imagery and that eye looks very intact. Could see a little bit of growth with this storm as we head through the next couple of hours. So we'll be watching for that update from the National Hurricane Center. Of course, you can catch that here live at five on Atlanta News First. Uh, right now, moving to the east northeast at eight miles per hour. Wanted to show you our in-house model so that you can see where some of the guidance has been hinting that this storm is going to go. Our Hour by hour, this will lift eventually off towards the northeast as we head into the overnight hours. You can see how the storm kind of gets a little bit larger. Uh, we do expect it will weaken, but as it weakens, the wind field uh, where those strong winds will actually start to expand. We'll start to see some impacts along the coastline as we head into the afternoon Friday, eventually uh, Wednesday. This storm will move inland as we head into the overnight hours. It's like a very early morning landfall sometime after midnight Thursday, and then eventually the storm will race off towards the east, not before bringing uh, impacts also to the eastern coastline of Florida as well. So you can see that there are watches that are in effect for most of the coastline of Florida. And then, of course, hurricane warning in effect for folks that are in Tampa all the way down to Fort Myers. Also, you see that warning in effect on the eastern shore. And then we're also seeing a tropical storm watch for the Georgia coastline as some of those outer bands could throw some tropical storm force wind gusts across that region. So we'll be watching that as this storm move inland closer to home. Things are quiet. A lot of sunshine. Nice breeze at about 10 miles per hour. We're sitting at 80 degrees at Hartsville Jackson. I think it's a pretty solid evening to get out and about whether you needed to go for a bike ride or run or maybe just go grab a bite to eat. Numbers near 70 degrees through the nine o'clock hour. Mostly clear skies and that's going to allow for cooler numbers as we start off the day Wednesday. Sunshine will dominate the morning and early afternoon. Clouds will start to build into the southeastern communities as we head later into the day, but I don't think that's going to slow down uh, the amazing feels of the afternoon. Temperatures in the 60s for the morning drive, climbing to 73 degrees around the time you're grabbing a bite to eat, and we're going to hover in the upper 70s for the bulk of the day. We'll keep those comfortable afternoons going as we head towards Thursday, topping out at 77 degrees from Atlanta to Athens into Canton, 79 in Rome, a little bit cooler down in Griffin where we only top out at 75 and then cooler trends as we head towards Friday. It's low to mid 70s for afternoon highs for most of the region, but the real difference in the forecast is going to be noticed in the mornings. The mornings getting cooler as we head towards the weekend. Check out the start of the day Friday near 53 degrees starting off at 50 on Saturday. And then those numbers start to increase a little bit, but it is going to be straight comfortable as we head through the next seven days. A lot of folks asking uh, if this is Jeep weather, you can definitely take the top down on the Jeep if you want to. All of these afternoons are going to be very pleasant. If you're going to check out the Atlanta Pride Parade, uh, you know, we're going to be uh, airing that and we are the media sponsors. A really gorgeous afternoon to be out in about low 80s for a high. And then temperatures will trend cooler as we head towards next week, starting off near 52 Tuesday morning and afternoon temperatures struggling to get to 70.